Thank you for choosing WavePad from NCH Software. This video is an introductory overview of WavePad and will familiarize you with the most basic functions. To download and install WavePad, go to the address you see on your screen. To begin a new project or to set up for recording, create a new file by clicking on the New File icon or open an existing file by clicking on the Open File icon and browsing to the file you would like to open. When working with multiple files, you might want the windows arranged so that you can see them all at the same time. Do this by selecting the window menu item and choosing a window layout that suits your preference. WavePad is laid out so you have quick and convenient access to the features you'll be using most often. The drop-down menus at the top contain access to every action WavePad is capable of performing and is often where you'll go for many of WavePad's more advanced tools. The toolbar is divided into four main sections, but you'll probably use the first two most often. The first set of icons allow you to quickly open or save files as we already saw. The next section contains quick editing tools, which I talk about in the WavePad Intro to Editing video. The very last icon in the toolbar is a link to WavePad's user manual, which explains all of WavePad's features. There's another toolbar directly under the main toolbar. This one contains access to many of the most common effects and editing tools in WavePad. Hover over each icon to see what each one does. Along the bottom, you can see the play controls, which we'll cover in just a moment, the play clock, and the volume level meter. With an audio file selected as your active window, press play to hear the recording. Press stop to cease the sound or navigate your way through the audio file using the rewind and fast forward button. To gain even finer control over an editing point, click the scrub icon and use the arrow keys to move forward or backward through the audio in millisecond increments. You can listen to a smaller portion of your audio file by making a selection first. Make a selection by clicking in the wave window and dragging over the portion you'd like to select. When you press play, only the highlighted portion of the file will be played. If you click on the record button, you'll see the record control window. To begin recording, press the record button. Press stop when you're finished. You can play back your recording by clicking play or re-record using the retake button. When you're satisfied with your recording, close the window to return to the main WavePad window. If you'd like to save your file, click the save file icon from the toolbar and browse to the location you'd like to save to. From here, you can convert your file to a different format. Just select the new format you'd like to save to from the drop-down menu, then click Save. You've just been given a basic tour of WavePad's layout, seen how to open an existing file, open a new file, play an audio file and navigate around that file, and how to make a basic recording. For more information on WavePad's editing or effects features, watch our Intro to Editing and Intro to Effects WavePad tutorials.